the different games tonight. Um, obviously, there was a lot of lobs. I think Jason told Kai they probably had a career high in lobs. Um, so, what did you guys see from the game tonight, too, that were, you were able to kind of take advantage of that in this, this game? I think our defense dictated the offense. So, uh, I think we didn't play great offensively, uh, especially me, but you know, we won the game. That's all that matters. What does the Easy two points. Luca, in game one, you and Kai talked about the physicality has to be better. What's your assessment in game two and game three, which I won on the physicality? Oh, great. I think we uh, took now one, two steps uh, at the phys physicality. Uh, so I think these last two games uh, was great physical, physical wise. So. Uh, with this three games passed, so we got to focus on the next one. And when you see PJ, you know, the crowd's join and he takes that pose, and uh, we see you smiling, uh, what's going through your mind, and, and how do you feel about PJ just protecting the team? Amazing, man. Uh, amazing. Uh, I have nothing else to say. Uh, the thing he does, uh, you know, he's a team player. He helps all of us, and I'm just really happy. We got him on our team. Can you talk about the physicality? There was obviously some altercation type stuff tonight. How do you think you're, you're, you yourself and then the team responded to all that? That's why it's playing basketball. There's always going to be some. Uh, we stayed focused. Uh, we stayed locked in and just played the game. And then how are you able to channel? You're you know an aggressive player, but you weren't looking to fight. Like when they came at you, you walked away. Um, how do you have that balance? I mean, because I'm used to that. Uh, I'm used to players coming to me at me. Uh, I'm used to that, so I just try to stay calm and just keep playing basketball. Luca vimos a Florentino Pérez en el Real Madrid hoy también en el partido. Para ti qué significó que haya viajado para verte jugar? Muchísimo. Eso explica uh, la grandeza que tiene el Real Madrid, eh, que Florentino venga a verme en un partido de playoff es increíble. Eh, de verdad le, le di muchas gracias por venir. Y es increíble que estuviera aquí. También vimos que ganaste un premio en la NBA por tu labor comunitaria. ¿Qué significa también eso para ti? Muchísimo. Como he dicho ahí en el, la entrevista, eh, un baloncesto me dio muchísimo. Y entonces eh, tengo que devolver. Eh, tengo que devolver eh, porque me gusta hacerlo y eh, ojalá eh, lo, lo haga más. Look, I wanted to ask you, Derek Lively II, second is someone who you had trust in right away and he's been battling a tough time. I wanted to ask you, you ask me about kind of him going through this tough time and still playing great in his game tonight as well. Amazing, man. Uh, the kid loves to play basketball. Uh, it's amazing. He's in a, I can't imagine how hard situation and he's still performing well, uh, giving good energy, uh, just explains how great, great of a guy he is and how special, special guy he is. What would you do to your knee? Um, and then, you know, out of that field, the rest of the game, and, and what do you think moving forward with that? Yeah, not good. Uh, I felt it before I hit the knee, so uh, it's pretty stiff right now, uh, but we'll know more tomorrow. Uh, but you know me. I'll try to know anyways. Just to follow up in English um, on the question you answered, uh, did you know Francisco was coming? And then what was your... Florentino. Um, well, um, yes, okay. Uh, did, did, and what was your uh, reaction when you found out he was coming and how do you feel about the fact that he came to see you play? Yeah, I knew he was coming. Uh, it was amazing, man. Uh, like I say, you, you can see the great uh, best club in the world is uh, Real Madrid. Uh, the president comes and see my game. It was a special moment. Uh, I can't even explain it. And just, I was really happy that when I realized he was coming. Luca, I got to, oh, sorry, okay. uh, congrats to Milano. I got a chance to talk to AJ Lawson after the game, who obviously got his first playoff bucket. He was more happy with the win for the team, of course. But what does it do for you when you see, you know, young players like that getting their first playoff bucket and kind of growing in the league? Amazing. I mean, they're, they're great, great guys, great players, and you see them cheer for us every time they're on the bench, which explains a lot of the great guys they are. And, you know, just keep working hard, you're going to be playing 40 minutes in this situation. So I appreciate those those young guys, you know, they always cheer for us. 
Luca, you guys had a lot of energy tonight. <clears throat> and so how do you ride that wave of momentum? And then also, what makes you so difficult to guard? Uh, yeah, we had big energy. Uh, that's why you got to play every game. Uh, second question, I, I don't know. That's you got to ask other other people that than guards and other coaches. So, I think, yeah. last question, Bob. Um, so you've been in the league, you know, six years now, right? Um, trying to see where guys get into foul trouble um, and what foul trouble does to certain players if they have to come out, like. How do you recognize how many fouls your defenders have, and, and how do you attack that when you notice it? I mean, yeah, when they we try to attack guys that are in foul trouble for sure, because uh, they're gonna they're not gonna be that aggressive, especially if it's a good defender. You know, uh, you you gotta go with him because they're in foul trouble. They're not gonna be the same defending. They're not gonna be that aggressive. So we just gotta go with them.